Look, I like mashing inputs as much as the next Fox main, but from personal experience, you can only get so far just wildly throwing out attacks, and it's possible to have a defensive game without feeling like you've joined the floaty mafia. In fact, the most aggressive players on the planet also have strong defensive games, because honestly, if you're going to be pushing for interactions all the time, you might as well have a plan for when you get hit. There are two components of a solid defensive game. The first is trying not to get hit as much as possible, and the other is being a cool gamer when it's inevitable you will get hit. Getting hit less is a little abstract, but I think there are two main bullets that can summarize this mentality. The first is avoiding playing predictably in any category of micro situation, whether it be from the ledge, out of shield, from the corner, from platform, out of your dash dance, or anything else you can imagine. Good players adapt their game plans around their opponent's tendencies, and every pattern is exploitable with a hard read. Whenever players are super predictable from the ledge, for instance, opponents get a visual indicator that helps them prepare a counterplay well in advance. On unranked, I often see Fox players who always do a single out of shield option, and I think this is a shame, because Fox is capable of doing a bajillion things out of shield, like spot dodge, shine out of shield, up smash, grab, short hop aerial, full hop, wave dash backwards, or even forwards into a turnaround up tilt. Even if the option being spammed over and over is arguably the safest, most optimal way to play a certain micro situation, if an opponent reads the spacing and timing with a yo all in, it can be the wrong thing to do. We can also get hit less by simply reducing opponent's windows of opportunity to hit us. Top players always move precisely around their lag windows. Smash is not a game where we have time to just throw out a move, wait for our opponent to do something, and then act accordingly. I think it's really important for players to practice doing sequences of actions, like whiffing a short hop aerial and then shielding as soon as possible, or dashing backwards right after, or doubling down with another attack as soon as we're actionable. By moving precisely and not being stuck in lag, we can get away with throwing out moves against opponents who might be a few frames too slow to get a guaranteed punish. There's some sweet ways to put colored overlays on to tell us when we're in states like wait, which allows us to move more precisely. But there's always times where we just mess up so badly that our life flashes before our eyes, and we question all of our life decisions mid-game. All we can do here is accept our fate as soon as possible and start DIing before getting hit. We should basically always be holding a direction to DI or even try to SDI when we're in lag. Some moves are so fast it doesn't make sense to try to react to their startup. And if we're not already DIing when they start, we're probably going to get messed up. And if you're such a god tier player that you have the insane in-game awareness to look at your own percent and see that you're below 30 to 35 percent, you can even do the Galaxy Brain pro player technique of holding down on the left analog stick. This will essentially invalidate all sorts of options your opponent can throw at you, especially but not limited to jabs or weaker aerials, forcing your opponent to play around ASDI down. From here you can do any attack, although since you're already holding down, down tilts and down smashes are easiest, and if you really want to be a cool kid, you can do a dash out of crouch, that might make you a nerd. And yes, holding down can be beaten by moves that specifically counter crouch cancelling and ASDI down, but it at least makes your opponent think. But uh, of course there are some characters you shouldn't be holding down against also. There's so many other small techniques that are worthwhile to learn, but I figured this quick primer was enough now that I've indoctrinated you into becoming a filthy down holder. Thanks for watching.